Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today, I'm going to discuss a conversation I had with a client. And these are beliefs or myths that people have about solar. So we're having lunch. And he was telling me, oh, I'm going to buy an inverter-friendly refrigerator. That's not inverter-friendly. An inverter-friendly freezer. And then I'm going to reduce this and reduce that so that I can... Um, get a 3.5 or 5 kVA inverter that be able to power my power my loads. So he's going to go change what he has because he does not believe that um, solar as current as exists can power what he has effectively and efficiently. So let me answer that. Let's start by first of all. What size inverter do you need? So this itself, the AC-DC converter is actually called an inverter. So what size do you need? This one you're looking at is 30 kilowatts. Do I need 30 kilowatts? The absolute answer is no. Um, my load, when it peaks, is somewhere between two and a half and three kilowatts. So a five kilowatt inverter will do just fine. But because once in a while, I'll be cooking, I'll have my microwave on, I'll have two ACs on, I have a window AC, which is a non-inverter AC, and an inverter AC, and then I'll be pumping water. Uh, the pump was changed. We had a 0.75 kilowatt um, pump. Now the pump is, I believe, two kilowatts because it's pulling anywhere between 1,100 and 50, so, sorry, it's pulling about 1,500 watts. So it's the reason I have a seven kilowatt inverter, but a five kilowatt inverter will do the job just fine. If I managed all the things by putting things on, knowing that all things are on, then a five kilowatt inverter will do the job fine. But a seven and a half, I don't have to worry about anything. I never trips. Storage, you can never have enough storage. Storage are batteries. How much battery should you have? The more you have, the merrier. So right now, this here is 14 point, um, this is four, four times six, 24, four times six, so 14, 0.4 kilowatt hours in battery and that is 11.6 kilowatt hours so combined 11.6 plus 14.4 is 25 26 about 26 kilowatt hours in batteries so what does it allow me to do i could run my ac at 24 23 23 degrees all night and i'll wake up to over 50 percent or 60 percent in, in batteries left so theoretically, what I do here, have here, is two days of storage with no sun. That's what it comes out to equip, theoretically. Um, I average about 20 kilowatt hours a day, and that includes um, when the sun is shining. If I use what I use over a 24 hour period, then this is 24 hours worth of storage. But I, so at night, I use less than what I use during the day, because during the day, the office is closed and it's night time. I'm using much less energy. So my storage requirements are different. Ignore this, by the way. It's temporary. As you know, we're testing these batteries. So as far as storage goes, the more, the merrier. Now, finally, you have all this stuff, right? You have your inverter or your converter, your AC to DC converter, your DC to AC converter. You have your storage, your batteries, right? So how much in panels do you need to charge them? So what you do is look at how much you consume every day. So in my case, I consume about 3 kilowatt hours, sorry, 28 kilowatt hours a day. So let's round it up for the sake of ease of calculation. So it's about 30 kilowatt hours every day, right? I'm 100% of the grid. So when you do your off the grid calculations, you do, I use three, somewhere between three and three and a half sun hours for my calculation. So 30 kilowatt hours divided by three hours. I need 10 kilowatts in panels to be able to produce the energy that, I, that I'm going to consume on a daily basis and recharge my batteries. Right now, I have 7.4 kilowatt hours in solar panels on my roof. And what that means is every day, I'm, I'm only able to charge these batteries, particularly in weather like this, to about 80%. Now, if I add an extra 2.5 kilowatt hour, 2.5 kilowatts in solar panels that are required, I'll be able to get it to 100% every day. 
So let me summarize. How do I calculate how much in solar panels I need? One, I know how much I con I know how much I consume in kilowatt hours every day. So I rounded it up to about 30 kilowatt hours. So you divide that 30 kilowatt hours by the number of sun hours you have every day. Lagos being Lagos, we go through some super cloudy days. There are days the sun doesn't show up. So you have to account for those days. So what I do is I average it out and I use three hours. If I were on the grid, I could use more aggressive numbers. I could use four, five or six hours, but I cannot do that because I'm not on the grid. And I don't want to turn on my generator. So what I do is I use three hours and there are days I get three hours worth of sunshine. So if I get three hours worth of sunshine on my 7.4 kilowatt hours in batteries, that would be 22.4, kilowatt hours in sunshine. Sorry, in sun energy, in kilowatt hours that will go into my batteries. So I'm not getting that right, right now. So that's why these batteries I'm not getting full, I'm getting substantially less than that. So between what I'm using and what I'm producing, I'm not filling these batteries up to 100%. So let's take a look and see where we are right now. It is currently, sorry, it is 227. And the batteries are 85%. So that's how long it's taking for these batteries to fill up. And our consumption is 1.7 VA. So let's go in and see what's going on with our batteries. So system status, PV1 is generating 2.1 kilowatts, PV2 is also generating 2.1 kilowatts, so combined between the two of them, 4.2 kilowatts. Battery 1 is getting 1.4 kilowatts. Battery 2 is also getting 1.1, 1.2 kilowatts, and battery, battery 2 state of charge is 82%. So that's it in a nutshell. So you don't really have to make any special changes. I mean, don't go get absurd power hogs, hogs right? I have um, a 1 horsepower inverter AC, a 1.5 horsepower window AC. We've not run the window AC for days now because we're not generating enough to charge our batteries. So my priority has been to get the batteries to full and we've not succeeded in getting the batteries to full in the last three days because our panels are not generating enough to power the loads and at the same time fuel the batteries. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, please post them in the comment section below. If you like what you see, do give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.